Hey guys and girls, this is Gordon Overkill and I'm about to record the second episode in the adventures of this uh, uh, male Drakish assassin called Tertius. And as you can see, the first of my three characters, Primus, is already out of the game. He sadly died. He drowned to death in the river after a super annoying situation but however let's not talk about that we will today play with Tertius and just to remind you Tertius is uh, maybe your third favorite assassin going to kill the ice queen I do not exactly remember what we did in the last episode because I did not play uh, this character in a couple of days let me take a look at the quest he still got the puppy quest, so very likely he has done the healer quest. Yeah, it looks like it. He has done the healer quest. He just returned to Terinio. He maybe also sold some stuff. Maybe not. He could do that in this episode. Yes, I think I wanted to do that in this episode. So, let's go and sell some stuff in the black market first. So we're not that heavily burned anymore. Oh. First we have to fight this outlaw. We have got 8 points of protection, we have got a scimitar and a shield. Yeah, I think we should easily, easily, no problem at all. So what do we want to sell? The hood, the couple of these weapons, but I want to know how much they weight. Maybe there is something nice among them which would then have a high weight, high price. Moment. 71, 15, no, 15, no, 7, no, 11, no, 48 for the broadsword, no, that's an ordinary one, I think, 11 for the battle axe, 34 for the scalper, short sword. Well, I think we can also sell the hatchet, there was nothing extraordinarily good among it. I will check the same with these uh, other items. Necklace 138, that looks good. 18 for the leather boots, ordinary very likely. 11 for the cloak, I'll keep a backup cloak, that's another way. But I'll sell those gloves. And the shield, 26. I will compare that to the, uh, to the other shield, to the wooden shield. How much is that? Oops, wrong button. The wooden shield is 22, so I think it will not be better. I'll keep the wooden shield Wait. and drop the medium shield. I will definitely equip this necklace, whatever it is, it is fine. Um, we should equip the scimitar also, wield it, and now check these ranged weapons. Long crossbow is 30, short bow 30, hand crossbow 138, but I'm not going to use it, so sell this. And the light crossbow 45, so I will sell the cheaper light crossbow. Then we've got a scooter and two arrows. We have got two rings, let's check these two. Marble ring 93, that looks fine. No grain ring 26, that does not look very good, I'll sell that. But we can equip the marble ring. Yes, it is uncursed. That's what I hope for. Uh, yeah, that's uh, an, an, a nice way to uh, check your uh, to your inventory if you have no other chance to uh, to identify the status. Wait, what, what did I do? I think I saw the scroll that I should maybe not have sold. It was uh, I saw the ghost scroll, didn't I? Yes, um, well. However, that's life. Anyway, like I said, this is a nice means of uh, checking your, uh, your inventory. Just check how much it is worth and compare it to the prices of other ordinary items. However, now we are ready to do the starting dungeons. Did we already do the very starting dungeon? Let me check that first. No, we did not. So let's start with that. maybe not absolutely necessary to do this rather easy dungeon but it gives us some early game equipment and 
it will definitely help us to survive. It will cost us some turns. If I did a speed run, also, I would not not bother with this location at all. But uh, I'm not doing a speed run with this character, and I would very much like to uh, get a character into the late game again after most of my last characters died in the early or mid game. So I will take this chance, of course. Ah, the last character I hoped, I really hoped that Letizia would make it to another successful Lithium run, but sadly that did not work. That's the doppelganger ended, yes. However, all in all, apart from uh, my recorded games, I'm doing very fine on the last time. I won uh, three runs in the last two months. For me, that's quite good, I think. Oh, is that a fairy dragon? Yes, it is. Luckily, it did not survive very long. I can worry about the redlings do not taste very nice. So, that was the whole level? Yes, it was. So, we'll get down to the next one. Of course, with a experience level 7 character with 8 points of PB, the beginner's dungeon is, well, not really very much of a challenge. <laughs> but, well, that's not what we're doing it for. We're doing it for the experience and for maybe one or two nice items that we might find. Ah, where do we want to go? Uh huh. That looks to me like a chaotic altar. I think so. Let's check it. It is a chaotically aligned altar, but we are not chaotic, so let's stay away from that thing. We do definitely will not want to risk uh, getting sacrificed. Well, mm, uh, up there is another cor corridor. No, nothing we need. I do not want to get bloated, so I do not need the corpses at the moment. Oh, a potion. Cool. Okay, that was this level. Again, nothing spectacular, nothing that will greatly help us. Maybe another wooden shield. That might be, might be better, because sometimes these wooden shields have... Uh, Extraordinary nice uh, bonuses, or what do you say? Boni, I think. Uh huh, a dwarf. I'd like to kill this dwarf because, ah, sadly, I hoped that uh, he dropped a pickaxe. Uh, dwarfs have an increased chance to drop pickaxes, and that would have been nice. Where is the secret door? Here. What is our missile weapon that we're using? It's uh, throwing rocks at the moment. I'd like to use that a little more in order to get uh, the skill up. We got it at level 2 right now. If we got into very dangerous uh, situations, we might as well uh, throw our knives because we've got a better, better skill with them. So now, but at first, let's take another look here. Let us increase alertness. And, 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 uh, I'd like to get first aid at 50 at least. One more first aid. So, we've got it at 50, cool. We've got a very nice skill set, but we need to increase our uh, improvement dice a little. Heavy boots? We are wearing leather boots. Heavy boots very likely give us one point of protection. I, I will blindly equip the heavy boots. One point of protection early on. It's always worth it. Yes. And it's not even cursed. Perfect. So, even if that's all that we get in here. Oh, oh of course. Ah, no strength increase. Too bad. Even if that's all we get, one more point of PV is definitely worth it. Uh, you have to kick that door. Let's do it. Ah, uh, blinding trap. Okay, luckily it's just a blinding trap and not something. Ah, uh, we're also stunned. Cool. Uh, not some other kind of trap that could have 
damaged our inventory. Uh, yet another blinding trap. Hmm. I might take the rock. Maybe it stacks with some of the other stacks of rocks that we have. Oh, there is a secret door. However, that was the third level, which means we have now successfully done the beginner's dungeon. We did not find anything very, very nice, but well, I'm okay with it. One point of PV, a ring, a potion. And we made another level, that's definitely all. Surely not bad to have. A scroll, who knows, maybe this is a useful one. We will surely find out later. So, and now, let's go into a little more challenging place, the puppy cave. Ah, it's one of these annoying rooms which are very dangerous if your character is doomed. If the chance is very high that in there he could get eaten by a groom. Ah, a key. Fine. We take these rocks with us. Ouch! Ah, stop that, you armor piercing little insect. I do not think that he uh, feels insulted if I call him an insect. He is an insect, that's just a matter of fact. Okay, okay, I'll take these. Maybe better than our downloads. But I need uh, some hint about uh, their status before I equip them. Because uh, getting stuck with a pair of cursed gloves could be a problem because that means you cannot change your rings anymore. Brass braces are the only braces that we surely not need, so I'll drop them again. Here are the ants. Okay, they are right in our way. Uh, can we kill a warrior ant? I think we have to try it. Yeah, that looks good. Come on, kill it. Yes, that looks very good. That's good to know. We can already take on the warrior ants. I would be so glad if one of these ants would drop us a corpse. Uh, seems they don't want to. However, let's at first check the rest of the level and maybe they will just come uh, after us. Ah, yeah. Oh, the goblins dropped corpses. I'm not so much interested in goblin corpses, honestly. An ant corpse, that would be something. Come on. Ah, again, no cops. Too bad. Cobalt cops. Ah, come on. I want an ant cops. Here and now, please. But I'm very happy to see how we do against them. They have no chance, these ants. <sighs> Nothing is so good to potion of water. Potions of water are fine thing. Ah! 
A giant ant warrior corpse, perfect. But at first kill the others, close the door, and then eat it. Oh, I could have closed the door. So, eat the giant ant warrior corpse. This vile stuff makes you throw up. Your stomach tingles, that's what I wanted to read, because that means we have got intrinsic acid resistance installed. And we reach level nine. What to increase? Hmm, hmm, hmm. We continue with dodge because that gets so much la harder later. Um, I also take one more on detect traps. Nice, good. And 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 find weakness. We also get another talent, and that will surely be treasure hunter. My beloved treasure hunter talent. Let us use first aid one time. What number was first aid? It was what letter J. Good. Okay, we got some damage. Take care. Just that we have to kill the ants. Ah. Uh, in order to get, uh, at least we have to get past them. If we want to, ah, giant and warrior cops. I might try to sell this giant and warrior cops at the shop in Terinio. Ah, what has he annihilated? Our gloves. Okay, that's not so important. I wanted to equip these other gloves anyway. However, I will try to sell the Ant Warrior Corps to the Terrinio food shop. This still there, good. Because if later on we should get into a situation where we want to do some pool sipping, then we would be very, very happy about a backup source of, K of acid resistance. So, drop it. Yes. Also, that gives us some time to regenerate our hit points before we return to these ants. Nice, that was good. We have got a backup and corpse at the Tirinio food shop. And we are back at full HP. Well, we were at full HP for a very short time. I have to take on these ants. Shining necklace. Oh, you know what I forgot? No, well, I didn't really forget it, but uh, we still. Oh, there comes the ant queen. Come on, Mrs. Queen. How? Do we do against you? Ah, nice hit. But that was a hit against us. And she's dead. Fine. She drops the cops, but uh, honestly, I don't really care. I'll just take a short look around here if maybe there are some rocks to be found from their digging actions here, but it doesn't seem so. Uh, that was the first big success. We have got acid resistance, which also means that all these acid traps are now a lot less dangerous for us. But not only that, we also have a backup corpse, just in case we want to do some pool sipping later on. Success! <laughs> so, here we go. The next level should be a little less dangerous. Uh, I should kill this. Okay, coppering, interesting. I should kill the more dangerous enemies uh, from from a distance anyway, and even even the weaker ones because we have to train our skills before we meet the really tough enemies. We need to be an expert rock thrower. Okay, uh, do giant raccoons taste fine? That works. Okay. Somehow barbaric to eat that pure raccoon. It's actually raccoons are very very cute animals, I think. Uh, Personally, would not want to eat them. Oh, 23 arrows. Well, that is enough. I will try. Okay, the bow is not cursed. Perfect. So, change to the big stack of 24 arrows. Time to train our bow skill. Fine. Where? Ah, there's the corridor. 
a distant wind. That means there is a vortex somewhere on this level. Oh, take good care, Tertius. If it's an acid vortex, it's no problem. But it might also be some kind of dangerous vortex. And a brown pool. Interesting. Let's remember that. Brown pool on PC3. Ah! That's a large shield, and that's very likely better than our wooden shield, but I am not sure if it's cursed. And it is ordinary iron, so maybe it is also 5 0. That happens quite often. 5 points of uh, DB, but uh, 0 points of PV, and that uh, would not be enough. 5 1 would be okay for me. So if we do not find a better shield inside this dungeon, we will check the status, at least by the price. Club money. I like to take a couple of clubs with me because they are very vulnerable to uh, traps and other things. So uh, it might happen that we have to exchange the cloak if I'm from the brass amulet. Sucks. There's nothing but another wooden shield. That's good. I will, I'm, I will try to uh, compare all these wooden shields to each other to find out if, which one is the best. So, level five, and level five is the cavernous level, which can become very dangerous. And I would rather like to play this one in ASCII mode because it gives me a little better overview. Sometimes you can get trapped between different dangerous animals in here or enemies. Ah, but we've got a very close staircase. That's perfect. So let's directly descend. And here you read the level a uh, message. You feel excited. That means we have reached the bottom level. And here, oh, apart from that, the cute dog corpse. It has not survived. We've been too late. But well, that was somehow clear. We were already playing for more than a week in game time. However, uh, honestly, that was not the main reason for me to get down here. The main reason is the guaranteed lesser vault. That could potentially give us some very nice items that could help us a lot through the early game. Sometimes I found, oh, I do not what, know what I, uh, I have already found, adamantium tower shields down here and other fantastic stuff. Could also be fantastic armors or weapons or whatever. But it could also be a very dangerous place and I do not want to kill the cat. Have we already killed cats? Let me check that. No cave tigers, no cave lions, no wild cats. Okay, so we will continue to try to avoid that. And that looks to me like a hyena and gnoll vault. Yes, it is. Here we have our first seriously better shield. That is a, la a medium adamantium shield, if I'm not probably doing. No, it is. Medium adamantium shield. And that's fine. That's good enough to directly equip it. That should give us at least two points of protection and seriously better. Yeah, eight, two. That's a whole lot better. Great increase from our old shield. That also means that I can drop all these wooden shields and the uh, iron shields, because uh, medium adamantium is already a whole lot better. No chance that the others are even close to as good. But that's fine. We've got an increased item drop rate through our uh, treasure hunter talent, and also these lesser vaults have a general, in general, a, a higher item drop rate. So we might find even more nice stuff here. But also, if we do not find anything else, I'm already oh. That's a mithril cap. That's also one to directly equip. Ah, not cursed, and it's a, a good one. Two points of protection plus fighting bonus. That's seriously what I was hoping for. And they cannot do us any serious harm. Neck lasers. Ah, that's an adamantium battle axe. I am quite sure that's better than our scimitar. Here it is. 
No, it's a mithril battle axe. However, it does a whole lot more minimum damage, so I'll keep it. Because we have not trained it yet, we had it already got swords at level 7, dagger's knife level 5. Well, we will just now start train our axes. Sadly, it seems that axes do not have sound effects when attacking, but well, that will surely come soon. Reaching level 10, nice. Increasing alertness. And what else? Dodge. Mm. Preservation is already nice. Healing is low, but will increase more or less by itself. Um, I think I also put a little on alchemy. Maybe we need some. Ah! Quit! Did I attack it? No, not, luckily. So, I will try to keep it like that. I do not want to mess with this cave tiger. At least I do not want to kill it. What do we have here? Uh, mithril saber, nice. Bot swords generally sell well. A heavy battle axe, well, rather not, but the other. Well, battle axes also sell well. I'll take them all with me. A whole lot of potions, nice. Scroll. That's it for the moment. What about our access skill level 2 by now? But I hope we will get it a little higher while down here. Glass amulet, that's an amulet of light. Nice if we can keep it until we get it to a safe position. They tend to break very, very quickly. Uh, all traps that you step into or whatever. My last game winning character that I played yesterday found, I do not exactly know, I think five or six amulets of lights which we all lost by two traps. Got one very, very, very big use, which is against Nuragwan, who always casts the darkness spell. And uh, if you can get the uh, environment lit with just an amulet, that's perfect, because that means that you can keep uh, the the uh, fire orb equipped. My character yesterday, he had to uh, wear a torch in his uh, item slot, and so he had to fight Nuragwan without the orb. Oh, I ran into the fire vortex, which also had an advantage because you see, there is no more cat to be seen. Still, I have to take a little, little more care. That can easily end deadly. If that was a lightning vortex, we would have been in trouble. If it would have been an acid vortex, we would have laughed and said, haha, we are resistant. Are we done with the, with the vault? Seems so. So let's check the remaining level down here. Nice. I think we're done. And we found some nice stuff. A new cap, a new battle axe, and a new shield. And also a whole lot of potions and other stuff. That was definitely worth a visit. So now let us just try to get back to the surface. If we can manage to do that in this episode, I would be completely happy. Uh, up there. Another fire vortex. Can we kill it? Ah, no, we cannot. And it destroys our shining necklace, which is uh, okay. It was not the coral necklace. It was too quick. We have ah, that's because we're strained and satiated. We've got just 88 speed. I hope for another chance to attack it before it explodes. But on the other hand, it looks a lot to me like we're uh, fire resistant. I do not remember, did we eat any fire beetle or fire lizard in the, in the first episode? We now got hit by two fire vortices and they did almost do no damage, both of them. Usually that only happens if you're resistant. 
By the way, Axis is already at level 4. It's fine. The uh, first levels always uh, go rather quickly. If you play a weaker character, then it might be a bad idea to change to a weapon that is untrained. But uh, with 11 points of protection value, I was not afraid of that. So, done that. Talk to the tiny girl to finish the quest. Where is she? Tiny girl. I think I saw her somewhere over here. Here she is. Hello, tiny girl. I have to tell you some sad news. Your poor little doggy has died and... Ah, oh, crap, that changed our alignment. <laughs> that kind of sucks, however. Uh, I think uh, still that was a very successful episode. We managed to gain a whole lot of nice loot and I'm already looking forward to see how Tertius will continue in the next episode. Not sure what he will do, but uh, we will see. Until then, let me say thank you for watching this episode and I hope to see you again in the next one. Bye, everybody.